Hello and welcome to the fourth video in the Sport Plan Animator tutorial series. My name is Josh and I'm here to give you a general guide of how to use the Sport Plan Animator. This week we're going to look at advancing your animations by adding secondary passing and running phases to your exercise and the various tools that can assist you in doing this. In the previous video, we looked at giving a player the ball and the vast amount of options available to a player in possession. If you are unsure on how to do this, make sure you go back and view that video. So let's begin. We're going to create a more complex set piece, so we'll delete some of the lines from the previous animation. We're going to pass the ball right to the oncoming player just outside the box, who will then pass the ball over the, to the player looping around the wall. Since this is a set piece, we want all our actions to take place once another has occurred, just as we would in a game. Our trigger is going to be when the player who runs over the ball finishes their initial run. We're going to use the variable speed slider to have the initial leads take place. Click the end of each line you want to change and move into the right hand side properties box and move the slider accordingly. We will use this method for our two players who are initially in the box. Another method we can use is to utilize the delay feature. This makes one action occur after another. Let's use our trigger action of the player running over the ball to emphasize the delay feature. We'll have the player on the edge of the box run towards the wall. If we click the end of this line, we are given four options. Let's click the delay option and you will see a cross appear where your cursor is. Move this across to the action that you want to act upon and click. Now press play. This lead towards the wall does not happen until the player finishes their run over the ball. We'll use the delay feature to ensure the player running across the wall does not go too early as well. Again, draw your off the ball line in the usual manner. It works just the same with a curved line. Click the end of this curved dotted line, press delay and link it to the end of the trigger action. If you want to remove the delay, simply click the end of the line you wish to remove and click the delay button again. And it's that simple. I'll quickly add that one back in as it is vital to our set piece. The delay feature works with passes too. Add a passing line from the free kick taker to our runner, ensuring to delay this action off of our trigger run. Let's see how our set piece is looking. Now we have three actions based upon one trigger and if you wanted, you could have even more. Now we'll look at the secondary stage. We want our player on the ball to play a wall pass into the onrushing player. It is vital that this pass is timed perfectly in order for the set piece to work. Luckily, Sport Plan can help us here. By using the passing action first and then connecting a lead line to this pass, you see the line becomes red as opposed to grey. Click play to see the results. Did you catch it? The player with possession held onto the ball a fraction of a second to ensure the ball arrived exactly as the player did. Let's watch again so you can see. We'll finish this set piece off by having our player with the ball smash it into the back of the net. And there it is, a secondary stage set piece. As always, we end on our most important tip. Remember to click that save option at the top of the page so you don't lose your well-crafted animation. 
This brings about the end of the fourth tutorial of the series. Keep a lookout for part five, in which we focus on what you can do once you've created your animation by adding titles, descriptions, and coaching points to your exercises so that they are ready to share with your teammates, players, and coaches.